हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोन एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर So guys let's start today the information The Iraqi government is sending signals of a possible change in their currency's value largely tied to the country's increasing export capacity This educational piece serves to reassure the public about the unfolding changes It includes insights from Iraq's financial advisors to provide clarity and transparency about the government's plans according to Dr Mazar Mahem Idk the financial advisor to the prime minister Global currency rates are generally set in one of two ways, through floating and fixed prices. He further explained that numerous factors, both local and international, influence the strength of a currency. These include supply and demand dynamics, interest rates, inflation, economic growth, trade balances, and others. Regarding the timeline for potential changes, my contacts have advised paying close attention to the banking reforms being advocated by the federal authorities. This includes monitoring the gap between the parallel market rate and the Central Bank of Iraq's official rate, as well as the currency auction levels. Recent articles confirm that these banking reforms are now being implemented, just as my sources indicated they would. Measures are in place to address the current issues and a resolution appears to be imminent. When it comes to the potential new rates, I've been cautioned against sharing specifics, but I can say that the rates being discussed are higher than previously anticipated. As for the World Trade Organization's WTO awareness of Iraq's currency plans, it's a hot topic at the moment. We recently saw a discussion on TV about Iraq's accession to the WTO. with one commentator claiming that Iraq will introduce a fully convertible currency by October but should we take his claims at face value it's important to scrutinize the promises made by Iraqi officials let's dive deeper into this topic the WTO has been eager to have Iraq join its ranks seeing great potential for profit in doing so However, is this really in Iraq's best interest? The representative from the WTO is attempting to divulge details that he suggests are reliable. Yet, you and I understand the true importance of Prime Minister Sudani's commitments. He has outlined a clear plan that goes beyond merely appeasing the WTO in the past few months. Iraq's government has been concentrating on stabilizing the economy, with one significant step being the move toward a fully convertible currency. Prime Minister Sudani has emphasized this plan, highlighting its critical role in Iraq's future as they aim to reintegrate into the global economy. This is a major undertaking. Yet, amid these developments, the WTO representative surfaces with bold assertions. The question is, why the urgency now? Historically, we've seen numerous announcements regarding Iraq's currency status, with some proving legitimate and others not. However, this time, it feels different. Prime Minister Sudani has a vision and he is collaborating with capable individuals to realize it. Iraq's journey toward a convertible currency is supported by plans for infrastructure enhancements and increased investment. The focus is not solely on facilitating free trade but also on establishing a sustainable economy. Here's where the WTO comes in, seemingly eager to involve Iraq. Their aim is clear. By getting Iraq into the WTO, they hope to turn a quick profit. But hold on, is this truly advantageous for the Iraqi people? When a representative from the WTO attempts to steer the conversation, it's essential to question their intentions. Prime Minister Sudani's commitment is about securing a brighter future for Iraqis, not just meeting the expectations of international organizations. His words echo a sentiment of doing what's best for his people, and that should be our priority. While the WTO might play a role in this process, they do not have the authority to dictate Iraq's course. The plan is fundamentally local, born out of a desire to improve the nation from within. More importantly, the Iraqi people deserve to have a say in their future. They have endured numerous challenges over the years, and every decision must align with their needs and aspirations. If Iraq achieves a fully convertible currency by October, it will be a reflection of their resilience and efforts not a directive imposed by an international body as we watch these developments unfold it's essential to follow prime minister sudani's leadership and concentrate on the broader picture this isn't solely about currency it's about the future prosperity of iraq 
Anyone attempting to control the narrative must proceed with caution and acknowledge the endeavors of the Iraqi leadership. It's not merely a question of economics. It's about the dignity and sovereignty of the nation. What are your thoughts on the WTO involvement? Do you trust in Sudani's vision for Iraq's future? Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with those who might benefit from this information. Stay tuned for more updates on Iraq's journey you won't want to miss what's coming next.